Keto breads are perfect for people who suffer from celiac disease and must avoid gluten. They are also perfect for people with a non-celiac gluten sensitivity. Perfect for people who can't eat gluten but do not want to be deprived of bread. Celiac disease is a chronic autoimmune disease affecting 1% of people worldwide. It affects some 3 million Americans. It is where the immune system responds to the presence of gluten by damaging the small intestine. It often goes undiagnosed. Symptoms include diarrhea, fatigue, weight loss, bloating, and abdominal pain. There is also a phenomenon known as non-celiac gluten sensitivity. This is where people who do not have celiac disease, feel much better if they cut out wheat altogether. In fact there is a school of thought out there that suggests wheat is bad for you anyway, even whole wheat. Here are some of the reasons cited. And you can find details at the link in the description. First wheat has a high glycemic index. This can cause rapid blood sugar and insulin spikes. It can cause inflammation and oxidation. Next. Eating wheat bread makes it hard to lose weight. This is because high levels of insulin and glucose cause fat storage to increase and fat burning to stop. And then one of the many proteins in wheat is lectin. Lectin is a kind of mini toxic poison found in plants that is designed to protect them against insects and bacteria. Unfortunately it is also toxic to humans as wheat is consumed over time. And then the wheat germ agglutinin or WGA has been found to be toxic to the heart and blood vessels, the immune system, cells and brain tissue. On top of that WGA blocks the leptin hormone. Leptin is our appetite controller. It is also known as the hunger hormone. It is designed to signal the brain when it is time to stop eating. But WGA causes leptin resistance. This means that the brain won't tell you when it's time to stop eating. So this makes it very hard to control your weight. Additional toxic effects of WGA are chronic gut inflammation, leaky gut syndrome and other autoimmune conditions. We don't need to get into details. But you get the idea. And as I mentioned before, you can check out details at the link. Even gluten-free products contain lectins. They still have high glycemic values and will increase blood sugar levels. So you like bread but you need to avoid wheat and glutens. And you wonder if there is a bread that does not use wheat and glutens but tastes just as good. Well, yes there is. Welcome to Keto Breads. It is no surprise that Keto Breads were designed to be low or no carb with the Keto diet in mind. But they are also grain-free and gluten-free. This makes them perfect for people who suffer from celiac disease. They are perfect for people who want to avoid wheat or gluten. They are rich in healthy fats and very low in carbs. So they are good for weight control, even if you are not on a diet. They come with fail-safe recipes, with crystal clear instructions and to the gram measurements. All recipes are delicious and have been taste tested to perfection. The recipes are easy to follow and don't require more than 15 minutes of hands-on prep. They include substitutions for people with allergies. And each recipe comes with complete macronutrient information and net carbs per serving. Here's an example of one recipe in action. Share with you an amazing keto bread recipe, right? So I went keto about a year and a half ago. It's changed my life. I also am gluten-free. So bread has literally become like a four letter word in my house. So I was trying to figure out how do I get the wonderful aspects of bread in a form that can work for me and work for my family and work for you. And here it is. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 375. We're gonna start with six large eggs, three at the beginning, three at the end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the egg whites from the yolk. So three now. You know, egg yolks, are different all over the world. And we're always looking for the darkest and richest yellow because it shows you the quality of um, what the chicken was eating. And you can see these are really nice and dark. So I'm gonna start by putting all of the egg yolks in. Then I'm gonna put half of the egg whites in. Then I'm gonna put my grass-fed butter and ghee right in with the delicious egg yolks. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon 
of the creamy MCT. There we go. Mm, yum. I will add a cup and a half of this amazing almond flour. So you're getting all of the good fats that are found in almonds. And that's really the base of this bread, which I think is incredible. And we're gonna be adding a quarter cup of coconut flour. So again, you're getting more MCTs in here, but this is um, the coconut flour. So you're gonna add a quarter cup of that, pulse that in. I'm gonna add three teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, three. Then we're gonna add one fourth teaspoon of garlic. And we're gonna use garlic powder in this case, but you can of course use fresh garlic. Rosemary, we'll use a fourth of a teaspoon of rosemary here. I'm a huge lover. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I love it so much. Next is a little pinch of salt. And you can use, you know, the Celtic sea salt or you can use Himalayan salt. I, of course, always wanna put olives everywhere. And so we've got olives that we can add right in here too. And that's optional, right? You may not love olives as much as we do in our household, but they're there. And if you wanna add a little bit of sweetness to it, you can add a bit of monk fruit and you're not gonna go off your keto program. So I'm gonna put the rest of the three eggs in. I love how different the eggs really can be in different parts of the world. I think it's super cool. Uh, when I was in Kyoto recently and we had the, the really dark, almost red egg yolks, it was, it was phenomenal. So now I'm gonna take what we're gonna bake the amazing bread in, bring it over here. I'm actually gonna use some of the creamy MCT to lightly coat it. I'll do that with my fingers. I think this recipe is great to be paired with in the evening where you invite your friends over and you get to show off your keto skills. I think it's, it's like the perfect recipe, but it's filled with all of these fat burning ingredients, which is just like incredible when you think about it. You're giving your body fuel from this recipe in a way that you never could imagine bread could do for you. You could use an incredible olive tapenade. We actually have recipes in the descriptions for different videos that we have. The options are endless. So you're literally feeding yourself the almonds, the coconut, the rosemary, the olives, all of these super keto friendly ingredients. And then you have surprise ingredients in there like the MCTs that just take it to a whole nother level. Now that the oven's preheated, we're gonna put it right in. Et voila! I would recommend pairing this bread with a whole slather of grass-fed butter. You know that eating keto doesn't have to be boring. You're gonna have fun, you're gonna get creative, and this recipe will do all of that. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out our other recipes. And bon appetit! But there are many more bread recipes, here are some keto bread recipe examples. Who knew there were so many different kinds of breads anyway? Here we have better banana bread, New York bagels, and almond butter bread. And here we have burger buns, sandwich bread, dinner rolls, cornbread substitute, cheddar crackers, and cashew sourdough bread. Now check out pita pockets, slider buns, pizza crust, French bread, rosemary focaccia, and drop biscuits. Finally we have sesame onion sandwich bread, superfat sandwich bread, rye bread substitute, real deal bread, protein bread and superfat pizza crust. The point is that there is a tremendous variety of breads designed for the keto diet that can easily and deliciously substitute for the wheat bread and gluten products you have had to give up for other reasons. The keto breads recipes were designed to remove the mental barriers to the keto diet but at the same time satisfy our appetite for bread. You may be giving up wheat bread and gluten for a different reason than going on the keto diet. But you can still enjoy keto breads. Click on the link in the description for more information. You'll be glad you did.
you can enjoy delicious bread again. Well, that's it for this video on the Keto Breads program. Thank you for watching. And do check out the link in the description. You'll be glad you did. Also, you can click here for a recent video or a related playlist. And please subscribe to our channel and hit the like symbol below. We really appreciate your support.